is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Reup, and today we're taking a look at Mortal Kombat Conquest, that's right, I did get that right didn't I, Mortal Kombat Conquest for the Sega Dreamcast, that's right, it's a Beats of Rage game for the Sega Dreamcast, that's right, it's such a fantastic game, let me tell you about it. Wow, what the hell just happened? I, li I literally just self-destructed. So this is it, Mortal Kombat Conquest, the Beats of Rage game for the Sega Dreamcast. This one obviously bought to us again by Senile Team and King Games. So there's a few people behind this one. What's the story? Let me tell you. So the game focuses on Melina and Baraka. And to be fair, all it's really based on is their plan to take over Outworld for themselves. I mean, who doesn't think that's a good idea, right? I mean, you basically take on so many of the Mortal Kombat characters in this game, including Reptile and Kano. There are tons of different, you know, Mortal Kombat characters in this game. So get hyped for it, because it is awesome. So here we go, this is it, Mortal Kombat Conquest. That is one hell of a tongue twister, that's right. Playing on the Sega Dreamcast. So yeah, the violence is here, the Beats of Rage style is here. To be fair, this is a really decent Beats of Rage. I mean, it's gory, it's what, you know, it's what Mortal Kombat's known for. I mean, the cool thing, I mean, it's cool, I guess, but the characters kind of repeat themselves, as you can see here. They kind of double up, and I don't really like the whole doubling up, because we know who these certain, you know, characters are, and that's clearly Reptile slightly paler, but he's kind of used in different variants, and uh, I don't know about that. It doesn't really work for me. I think this is kind of the problem with most Beats of Rage games, though, is they kind of repeat the characters over and over again. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is just a fighting game. It's nothing really to be taken too seriously, but I think sometimes characters are just a little bit too overused. I mean, here, as you can see, they're not repeated too much, but there is that element of repeat every now and again. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. The really cool thing is the fact that when most of them die, it's as if they've had a fatality carried out on them. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. Each level's obviously, you know... Built exactly like Beats of Rage games always are. It's hordes and hordes of enemies followed by a boss. And that is, yeah, what we've got here. I mean, here we are facing Shiva. Uh, but a lot of the time you can actually hear them making their way to the actual fight area. Which is kind of cool. You can kind of hear stomping or some noises on the music changes. So yeah, I've got to give them a heads up for that. that that's pretty cool. Both characters playable, obviously Melina and Baraka, are, you know, they they're both have their good sides and their bad sides. They're, you know, they're both pretty responsive and, uh, yeah, there's no real issues in the way they play. I mean, let's discuss the scenery. The scenery sometimes actually is, you know, it's pretty still, there's not a lot going on. But, you know, again, that's kind of, that's overrided by the sort of effects in the front. I mean, look at the rain effects, that's cool, right? Well, I think it's cool anyway. I know I talked about the sort of blandness and the sort of repetitiveness of the characters in the game, but you know, there's a nice good lineup. Like I said, Reptile's here right now. I mean, he pretty much is the best character in the game. Uh, you know, and this is one you probably want to play. It's about an hours to you know hours gameplay to complete, so it is one that you're probably going to want to check out if you're just a Beats of Rage fan, or if you're definitely a Mortal Kombat fan and a Dreamcast fan, then you're probably going to want to check this out. Anyway, I've been out from Games Rip. Like, comment, and what? Where the hell am I now? <laughs> you can now support the channel on patreon.com forward slash Games Rip, as well as remember to like, comment, and subscribe.